paper bugs, living reptiles, watch busy ants on an eight-foot ant farm at the Free Bug Museum in Bremerton. That's where Ellen Taylor is, and she shows us what they have to offer. Inside the Bug Museum in Bremerton, it's literally called the Bug Museum because that is what is here. It is free. There's a lot of noise happening because there's, in fact, field trips that are happening right now. And Chris Jones, the owner of the Bug Museum, is working on bringing us a new little reptile insect friend. Oh, no. Baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. I like all types of animals, but Chris Jones, I don't... I don't know about this one. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. What are we, what are, what am I He's, holding? Uh, don't worry, he eats vegetables. This is an Australian spiny stick bug. Yeah. And, and he they are harmless. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. He doesn't bite, but he has spines on his uh, legs. Yeah. Which he can sort of go after a predator. Yeah. And then see how he's curling his tail right now? Yeah, he's mad. That, that mimics a scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not mad, he's just defensive. That's, that, I take that as mad, Chris. Yeah, oh, well. <laughs> Just, oh, my gosh. Okay, free bug museum. How do you guys manage to be free? Well, uh, we take donations. Yeah. Uh, but most of it is provided from uh, our other business, the Nature Gift Store. Which has a lot of cool stuff that you can buy online. Yeah, caterpillar to butterfly kits, ant farm kits, all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, and so you also, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing a bug necklace, which I feel very guilty doing, holding a live bug in my hands. Uh, but you've got uh, bug candy, and you also have, earlier this morning, we were hanging around with snakes. The snake didn't scare me. This thing is a little bit, but overcome your fears. How often are you guys open? We're open 10 to 5. Monday through, uh, sorry, every day. Every day. We bring the animals out on the weekends for the kids to touch and yeah. and fascinate them. And you know what, Chris and I were talking earlier. We figured that when uh, the fear comes in to play, it's a, it's a learned response. So basically, uh, if they're kids, they're fine. But when you hit to, like those teenage years, you start learning that these things are a little scary. Very and nice. I, I have to give all the credit to my wife. Oh. Um, she's the one who dreamed up this little place, yeah. and uh, at some point you have to think, what can I give back to the community? Oh, I love that. And so we have everybody in Kitsap coming here, coming over on the ferry. Uh, to see your friends, yeah, let's get that nice close up over there and again. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Oh, Chris, I don't know about that. The Bug Museum in Bremerton. Okay, don't talk. You don't want him to go in your mouth. Open seven days a week. I'll put all the links to the information if you want to bring your kids or yourselves. Uh, come on by at cute13fox.com slash Seattle. That is, I kind of want to do that, but not really. Ooh, guys, back on over to you. Oh, my gosh. I do not want.